helper? <laughs> Silly cat. I'm gonna make a card for Mommy and Daddy and Rosie and Gilbert. Oh, and Sarah and Leo and Clementine. Hi, Caillou. Stop it, Rosie. You're stepping on my Christmas cards. Rosie, stop! What's wrong, Caillou? Rosie is stepping on all the cards that I'm giving my friends. Rosie, give two. Come on, Rosie. Let Caillou work, and we'll think of something else for you to give. Okay? Oh, I almost forgot. Grandma and Grandpa. Caillou worked all afternoon on his Christmas cards. Here you go, Rosie. Do you want Mommy to help you make a present for Caillou? We could draw a picture together. But Rosie didn't want Mommy to help her. She wanted to be like her big brother and do something all by herself. Daddy, look at all the Christmas cards I made. Can we give them tomorrow? We usually mail Christmas cards, Caillou. But they need them before Christmas. Don't worry. Everyone will get their cards on time. Here, this Christmas calendar will help you keep track of how many days are left until Santa comes. See these windows? There are 12 of them. One for each day left until Christmas. I can count to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good for you. Now, every night starting tonight, We'll open one window and discover a story behind it. I like stories. You'll like these stories a lot. Each window shows us how Christmas is celebrated differently all over the world. With a tree and presents and Santa? Well, that depends. Some children celebrate Christmas in different ways. Can I open a window? Sure. This one. It's stuck. Caillou didn't want to tear the calendar. So he opened it very carefully. He was anxious to see what was behind the little door. A Christmas tree! This is how Christmas was celebrated a long time ago in a country called Germany. Would you like to hear more about it? Yes! In a country far, far away, there lived a young boy, about your age, who loved going to work with his father. His name was Fritz, and his father was a lumberjack who cut down trees for a living. Fritz liked to watch the men do their work, and he knew that someday he would grow up to be a lumberjack just like his father. Fritz and his dad headed into the village to sell their trees. <laughs> Fritz noticed that the men didn't use the tiny little tree at the bottom of the sled, but Fritz suddenly had an idea how that little tree could be used. He thought the tree would look nice, in his house at Christmas time. And Fritz loved the smell of trees better than anything else. Fritz's mother thought the tree could use a little decoration. And since that time, people in many parts of the world have brought an evergreen tree into their homes at Christmas time. I like the Christmas calendar, Daddy. Tomorrow night, we'll open another window. And now it's time for you to go to sleep. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. And Caillou fell asleep, dreaming about Germany and Fritz and Christmas trees. Caillou woke up in a big hurry the next morning. Caillou. Um, good morning. So, can we get a treat? I think that's a great idea. Me too. I'll call a friend of mine and see if we can come by. What friend, Daddy? Go where? When? <laughs> You'll see. It's a surprise. Caillou loved surprises. But he really wanted to know who Daddy was calling and where they were going to get their Christmas tree. Who is Daddy calling? Can't tell. It's a surprise. All set. Let's finish breakfast, get dressed, and get going. Yay! Rosie is sure sleeping in late this morning. Gilbert? Gilbert, 
in hiding. Gilbert, where are you? <laughs> Silly cat. Caillou and his family left to go and get a Christmas tree. But Caillou still didn't know where they were going. Where are we going, Daddy? Yeah! Where, Daddy? You'll find out soon. But all Caillou could see were trees on either side of the road. I know! We're going to Germany, right, Daddy? <laughs> no, Caillou. <laughs> Rosie, look! It's Jonah's farm! Jonah! Horsey! But Caillou was suddenly disappointed. He liked Jonah, but he thought they were going to get a Christmas tree today. But what about the tree, Daddy? That's why we're here. Jonah has a Christmas tree farm. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Caillou! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Me too! Whee! The place looks beautiful in the wintertime, Jonah. Thanks. <laughs> it's our busiest time of year, what with the Christmas tree farm and all. What's a tree farm, Jonah? You know that at Christmas time, a lot of people like a tree to put in their house to decorate. So I grow trees just for that purpose. Kind of like a tree garden? Exactly. <laughs> I think someone over there would love to take you all for a sleigh ride to the tree farm. Ginger! Blackie! Here you go, Caillou. Do you remember how to feed them? Gentle. Good boy, Blackie. I think he remembers you, Caillou. Can we go to the tree farm now, Jonah? Absolutely. But first, we need a blanket to keep us warm on the sleigh ride. Could you do me a favor and get the big red blanket from inside the barn, Caillou? Yes. <laughs> Caillou was startled by the noise. <coughs> Hello, horsey. You're my size. I have to go now. We're going on a sleigh ride. Bye, horsey. Here, Jonah. There's a little horse in the barn. Yes, there is. That's our new colt. Colt? Yes, that's what we call a baby horse. Maybe you can come back in the spring to see how much she's grown. Oh, boy! Sure! Is everybody ready? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> then here we go! <laughs> yeah! And they all headed off to find a Christmas tree. Rosie? Whoa, Blackie. Whoa, Ginger. Did you enjoy the ride? Yeah. yeah! Christmas trees everywhere! <laughs> Choose any tree you like. Okay. Come on, Rosie. There were so many trees. Caillou didn't know how they were going to pick one. Rosie, are you hiding? <laughs> I know where you're hiding. Behind that tree. I see you. You hide, Caillou. Okay. Caillou and Rosie thought the Christmas tree forest was a great place to play hide and seek. Caillou? Caillou? Caillou didn't want Rosie to find him, so he stayed very quiet. But suddenly, Caillou felt alone, and he didn't want to play anymore. Caillou didn't like being all by himself. Rosie? Mommy? Daddy? There you are, Caillou. Did you find a tree you like? These trees are big and scary. Well, why don't we go over to another row where there are smaller trees, more your size? Christmas trees are in a field, one will grow the tallest. The tree that doesn't get sunlight will end up the smallest. Now there is one special tree, small and bent and hard to see. As tiny as a tree can be, that's different, you'll agree. Now, Caillou, see how each tree is different, just like you and me. 
For some trees it is better to grow up straight and tall. But sometimes strong winds blow, then it's better to be small. Tall is good and so is small. Trees have different lengths. Whatever size, it doesn't matter. Each has different strengths. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, pretty as a tree can be. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, the perfect tree for me. The perfect tree for me! I really like this tree, Mommy. Really? But it's so small and it has a big bend in it. Why did you pick this one? Because it's just like the tree in Daddy's story. You're right. What do you think, Rosie? Christmas tree! <laughs> well, that Yay! settles it. Caillou was proud to have picked the Christmas tree and wanted to be sure it was in the best spot in the living room. Can we put the tree in the middle of the room, Daddy? It would be a better idea if we put it in a corner, Caillou. Okay. Over there. No, wait. That corner would be better. No, um, maybe over there. What? <gasps> Perfect. Whoa! Gilbert! Caillou was very happy with how his tree looked, and he knew exactly what it needed to become a real Christmas tree. That evening, Caillou had a brilliant idea. He wanted to make a special star to put on top of his very own special tree. Meanwhile, Rosie had a few ideas of her own. Rosie made a present for Gilbert, all by herself. That's wonderful, Rosie. Oh, you're such a big girl now. <laughs> Daddy funny. Yes, Daddy's funny. What are you doing with the wrapping paper? Rosie, big girl now. Gilbert, cut that out. Shoo! Go away! <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> are you all right? Ha-ha! <laughs> Daddy's very funny. Now, could you please help me up? Could we help you decorate the tree, Daddy? I think that's a great idea, Caillou. What's that, Rosie? Wesley. Here you go. Why don't you two help me finish decorating the tree? Mine! Mommy gave this one to me. Caillou saw how upset Rosie was, so he decided to let her have the ornament. Here, Rosie, you can have it. That was very nice of you, Caillou. Christmas is a time of giving and of sharing, and you did a very good job of sharing with Rosie. Can I put my star up now? That's a great idea. Let's see that star of yours, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Daddy funny. <laughs> And now the lights. Wait, I want the room dark. Ready? Ah. Oh. The tree doesn't look little anymore. It looks great. It's the best tree we've ever had. Caillou and his family all loved their Christmas tree. Now it felt like Christmas in their home. When Caillou got to bed, he was very tired. Did you have fun today? Yes. And now, I can't wait till Santa puts all my presents under the tree. Christmas is about more than just getting presents from Santa. Really? Like what? Christmas is a time for giving, especially to those who aren't as fortunate as we are. What does fortunate mean, Mommy? We're very fortunate because we have a beautiful home and we always have plenty to eat. And you're very fortunate to have all these toys. But I don't play with all of them. I have an idea. Why don't you gather up the toys that you don't play with and tomorrow we'll make sure they go to children who will enjoy them as much as you once did. Now I think it's time to open another Christmas calendar window. Yay! 
Let's see, there's 11 windows, so if you open one, how many windows are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Tomorrow, there will be ten more days until Christmas. Let's see what we have. What is it, Mommy? This is how children in a country called Mexico celebrate Christmas. Would you like to hear what they do? Yes, yes! Several days before Christmas, Mexican children have a parade. They dress up as shepherds and as angels. And a young girl dressed as Mary rides a donkey. A little boy dressed as Joseph leads the way. Following them are three children dressed up as the wise kings. They dress up to tell the story of Christmas. Did you know that in Mexico they speak Spanish? Spanish? It's a beautiful language. Do you want to know how to say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Yes. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Caillou liked learning new words, and he liked how Merry Christmas sounded in Spanish. Feliz Navidad. I wish I could be in a parade, too. Good night, Caillou. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite. When Caillou woke up, he remembered the idea of giving away some toys he didn't play with anymore. Come on, Rexy. We have some work to do. See, Rexy, I don't play with these toys anymore the way I play with you. What are you doing? I'm giving these toys away. Rexy? <laughs> no, silly. Not Rexy. These toys that I don't play with anymore. I'm giving them to kids who don't have as many toys as me and you. No, Ducky. No, Rosie. These are for kids who aren't as fortunate as us. But Rosie liked Ducky. Okay, you can keep Ducky. Look, Mommy, these are the toys I picked to give away. Good for you, Caillou. They're going to make lovely presents. How about some breakfast? You must be hungry after all that hard work. Rosie didn't quite understand about giving and sharing, but she wanted to make Caillou happy. So she decided to wrap up Rexy and give him to Caillou as a surprise Christmas present. See, Rosie? I'm packing all the things I'm giving away. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> Rosie wanted to give away some things, too. Give away? Give away? But she didn't quite understand what to give away. <laughs> Mommy and Caillou were going to the place where Caillou's toys would be given away. But Caillou didn't know exactly where it was. Where are we going, Mommy? Here's a clue. What's big and red and... Santa Claus! <laughs> yes, but what's big and red and has a loud siren? I know! A fire truck! Exactly! And where do we find fire trucks? In a fire station! You got it! At Christmas time, some firemen collect toys and give them away to children as presents. Like Santa! Caillou really liked the great big fire trucks. The firemen had used them to rescue Gilbert from a tree. Here. Let me help you. Thank you. Hi, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Hi. Are these toys that you're giving away? Uh-huh. Well, that's very generous of you, Caillou. Sparky! Sparky was very happy to see Caillou again, too. <laughs> <laughs> I taught Sparky a new trick, Caillou. Want to see? Give the paw, Sparky. Good boy. Do you want to try? Okay. Sparky, give the paw. <laughs> Good boy, Sparky. <laughs> Let's go take a look at what's in this big box of yours. Stacy, we have some more items. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm fixing up some toys to make them good as new again. 
Wow! Now, let's see what you've brought. Huh? How did that get in there? <laughs> this is a strange toy. And there's more. I know! Rosie put them there! <laughs> Rosie probably saw you giving things away and wanted to add a few things of her own. Now this is better. Let me see. Hmm. I have just the thing to fix it. Do you want to help me, Caillou? Wow! Look at all the wheels! Let's see. I think this one will be a perfect fit. Can you hold the truck for me? There. Is it all right? It's just like new. Great. Why don't you bring it over so I can wrap it? Is something wrong? Now that Caillou's truck was working again, he wasn't sure he still wanted to give it away. Caillou, you're going to make a little boy very happy when he gets to play with your truck. Caillou thought about it and decided that it would make him happy to give his truck to someone else for Christmas. Here, can I help you wrap it? You sure can. This truck is going to make someone very happy this Christmas. And it's all thanks to you, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs>